Hello, in this video I'll show you how to add a part from a different library into your own project part library. So let's say you have your project open and you've created a library already, but the library doesn't have any parts in it. All you have to do is go to File, Open, Library and select a different library or part library that's already populated with parts. Now I have here these libraries that come pre-installed with the software. But I'm going to show you how to import the part from or the library part from uh, when I downloaded the Max 232 chip from DigiKey. So let's go to wherever I downloaded the library part here. It's the UL Max 232. UL stands for Ultra Librarian. And I named the library Library 2 when I imported it. Click open. Open the library and then you'll see that the part is in that library. This library only has one part, which is the Mac 232, because that's, I mean, that makes sense. And then right click and copy this part. Right click on your own library that has no parts, then hit paste. And that's how you import a library part into your own project library. Save the library to make sure that it's in there properly. Right click on the tab of the library that you imported from and close that because you're done with that now. Let's verify that you actually added the part properly to your library. Click on the page tab here and this is already added from previous thing here. I'm going to refresh my libraries It'll take some time, yes. Power module is the name of my library. And just to make sure, clean up your design cache. I'm gonna right click on that, choose clean up cache. Okay, and then go back to our project page and everything should be good. Select Max232 Power slash Power Module. That's our library. Not the other library, but this is ours. Double click on the part and look at that. You can just place it just like there and it's imported properly. Make sure to save your project and there you go.